Hello YouTube, Jeff the Fifth Guy here, welcome back to a new episode of the Fiorentina career mode and well, last time I tried recording this I messed up, I did, I messed up, I think we were, we were, we were here against Napoli, so we lost 3-2 against Napoli. I simulated the match against Parma, we won 3-1, which was nice. We drew one all against FC Sion. We won 2-1 against Bologna. We won 3-1 against Inter Milan. And then we lost 3-1 against Braga. But I can confirm we are through to the round of 32 uh, for the Europa League. And yeah, we're coming up against Piemonte Calcio, not Juventus, I mean, it's not Juventus, is it? Yeah, it's Juventus, guys, we're, we're kicking this episode off by first in Juventus. Then, I think I'm going to simulate the match against Chievo Verona. And then we've got Torino, and then I think I'll end the episode off when we... Uh, <coughs> match against Roma getting a bit of a croaky throw better get a drink and yeah uh, I don't know I've set up some scouting reports so they'll come back on the first of every month we're going to attend this press conference Um. I think I am happy with the team, but uh, there's a certain striker that we need to sign that actually recently happened in real life for Fiorentina, and it is okay. That's uh, menu delay. He was actually one of my favourite players for when he played for AC Milan. And he moved to Wolves, but uh, oh, he's still at Wolves. Okay, we'll shortlist him and get Scout Report back because it would be nice to get him on the cheap. And yeah, guys, I've switched Mertens and Bellotti around because. Merton seems to get pushed off the ball really easily and strikers have to have that strength about them. So yeah, Mertens has got moved out wide. And yeah, let's go into this match against Juventus. I'll see you. Right then the guys, here is the Piemonte Calcio lineup. Schnesny and Golag. Alexandro De Ligt, Chiellini and Sergio Roberto in defence, Rabio Thiago, Benton Kerr in midfield, David Neres, Ronaldo and Dybala in an attack. And as you've already seen, our lineup is a 4 triple 2 formation, Dragowski and Gola, Kuna Small, Milankovic and Pavard in defence, Tenali and Pulgar in at those three positions, Thiesa and Mertens out on the wide comes. Kwame and Bellotti up front at striker. Let's get this game on the way. Hold all the way. Here right now. Kessa. Kwame. Bellotti. Bellotti! On the counter attack makes it 1-0. For us, Fiorentina, and we are beaten Piemonte Calcio. We've been dominated right up until that point, but Kwame does the defenders and Bellotti slots it in the bottom corner. That is his ninth goal for the club. And that is half time. Right, guys, we are winning in the first half. Just getting a quick drink there. Uh, I can definitely feel my throat starting to, well, starting to become croaky. <laughs> we 
much is bad for when I'm making videos. And yeah, we've been dominated in that first half. Hopefully we can turn things around in the second half, or at least hold on to the win. Let's get it on the way. Oh, beautiful through ball. Well done, well done. Somebody. Get in! And it's 2-0 to Fiorentina against Juventus. Dries Mertens makes it 2. I waited for that run. And that is a tidy little finish from Dries Mertens. That is his fifth goal for the Serie A. Everyone's getting goals in the team, so... We're going to find that we're not going to have one certain top goal scorer. I mean, Kwame, he's on a whole different level here. Still Trauma, is he not offside? Yeah, Marco Ronaldo. Okay, wow. What a goal from Beltrame. Yeah, Stefano Beltrame, that was a pretty amazing goal. Mertens. That's unlucky. Anyway guys, we beat Juventus 2-1. They got a lucky goal right at the 90th minute. It's not important to me. Okay, another sip of my drink. Uh, we're going to go into a post-match press conference. Uh, yeah, they did actually dominate us the whole game. I mean, we picked up our shots in the second half, mind. And Mertens got man the match. So I'm proud of Mertens in that game. As soon as we drop him into calm. It does a lot better for us. He deserves all the prayers. Gonna get that morale up. Is there a reason to worry? Fiorentina wasn't much of a challenge. No, we had it in the bag. We did have it in the bag. It's irrelevant. I am not concerned. Right then. We move up in fifth position. Vlahovic comes to 70 rating. Got some good shooting stats on him now. Now our next match is against Kiev Verona. So yeah, I think we are going to simulate this. We'll see where they're at first. They are in 16th position. You've got a negative record, and we win 5 1. Kwame with a hat trick, Harvey Barnes off the bench, and Mertens. And we move up into third place. Okay, then, lads. We're in Champions League spot. Sarah Fellini sells just for an extra bit of cash. And our next match is against Torino, I think. But a lot you will be coming up against his former club. But first, we've got to get these training drills in. Vergara goes up to a 65. Hungary want me to internationally manage them, but I don't do international management in my career modes. I might do in the future, you never know. But we are in the January transfer market now. So, yeah. If you guys are wanting me to sign people up, you better get your comments in. Looks like we've got a wonder kid from Chile. Oh, 
what about Turkey? Not really. Final scout report on Patrick Kajona. New scout report. He's not looking any good, so we'll release him. He's 60 rated, so we'll bring him into the club. And yeah, we're gonna. How much money have we got? We've got 36 million. We'll offer. I think in real life they're going for 19 million. So we'll start off by offering 20 million. They want nearly 30 mil with the really uh, with the selling clause. We'll bring that down to 25 million. They want 32 million. Um, let's say 29 million. Okay. Right, what we're going to do is uh, we'll leave it like that for now and uh, you guys can let me know if I should, if I should finalise that offer down in the comments. But now we're going to end this episode off by playing Torino. Right guys, lineup. as you've already seen, this is the Fiorentina lineup, our lineup. But we're gonna go through it one more time, just so we get to see the uh, Torino lineup. Same lineup as before against Juventus, and what we've been lining up for the majority of the season. Three four two one for Torino. So, okay. Decent defence, Wright, Phillips, Big Leo, Baselli and Aina, okay. Bernard and Vardy in a calm. And then Zaza in a striker. That is a... That's a weird little team. And I think it's fairly beatable. But you know how good Jamie Vardy can be with that blister and pace. But anyway, let's uh, hopefully not make a meal of it. Mertens. Mertens, he might be 33 years of age, but he's still got that agility. Drag back. Mertens hits the crossbar. That is super unlucky. Turns that. Literally, I'm just doing a lot of turns here. Drag back. Belotti on the ball. Passes that back to Pulgar. Bilotti with the beautiful little finish. You know he's got that shot power. And all he does is score goals. Are we going to see a major difference in Bilotti playing in striker? That is his 10th goal in the Serie A. Right then guys. We are winning 1-0. Going into the second half. Uh, we're gonna keep the keep. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna keep the team how it is. I didn't notice, but Kwame's actually gone up to a 82, and Belotti's gone up to an 84. So that's nice. Merton's gone down to an 83, though, unfortunately. But uh, we're gonna still continue to play him unless we sign Katrona. Cause then we'll be wanting to play our young lads to get that potential up. Kwame. Oh, Bilotti tried turning him from Didn't position. Work. He's good with his attacking qualities anyway. So he might be good for that attacking DM spot. Baragi. Bilotti. Bilotti! Makes it 2-0 for a second in this game. And we are destroying Torino now. We should have this win in the bag. And yeah, this is going to be crucial to our Serie A campaign. And hopefully 
well, it'll be two wins in this episode. Well, three wins, including the simulation against Kievo Verona. So, we are actually doing quite well now. Raggy, nice control. And there we go, guys. Full time, we win 2 0. Belotti getting both of our goals. He must have got man the map, surely. Yes, he does. We get an assist from Baragi and Pulgar. Our DMs doing work. We're going to go into another post match press conference and tell them our thoughts on what our Serie A campaign is like right now. It's going really well. I feel. I mean, I feel like we could potentially. I think we could potentially challenge for the Serie A title, to be honest. But yeah, we're in second place. We are challenging for the Serie A title right now. That's insane. But uh, yeah, guys. Uh, oh crap, I shouldn't. I sh Let's not simulate any further because. I want you guys to get back to me on whether we sign Patrick Catrone for 30 million or not. But anyway, leave that down in the comments, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.